Anyway, gentlemen, it's a pleasure this morning to welcome our special guest, uh, and that's um, Mr. Grant Smith, who's the Mayor of Palmerston North. Mr. Smith is an old boy of the school, uh, and is here today as part of the Palmerston North 150th celebrations. And the Palmerston North City Council has gifted schools in the City of Tree to commemorate uh, the, the 150th, uh, and following the assembly this morning, there will be a small tree planting ceremony uh, out in the ground. So please join me and welcome Mr. Smith to the first <laughs> Kia ora tātou, uh, Morena, and good morning boys, uh, rector and staff. Um, as the rector acknowledged, I'm Grant Smith, I'm an old boy. I've even got the title today. And uh, Mayor of Palmerston North City. The council's here today to leave a legacy to this school and planting a tree on the school grounds honouring uh, the city's 150th sesquicentennial anniversary last year. And while I was here this morning, Mr. Bover suggested I address the assembly, explaining the city's 150th, the significance of the tree planting, and perhaps touching on where the city's economy is at present and opportunities for young men as they leave school. Palmerston North is a relatively young city, established in 1871, when we broke away from the Wellington Provincial Government and New Zealand Post office added north to the settlement name. Mana Whenua, Rangitane, had been here for many centuries earlier, and as British settlers and tra uh, traders started to pass through and explore the region in the 1840s, it wasn't until the 1860s when Scandinavian uh, settlers arrived in Papioia, uh, or Palmerston North, started to emerge. The town became popular, Rangitane showed true Manakitanga, and were welcoming, something that has continued until this day. And also there was no conflict here. And that's probably a reason uh, why we have a statue erected in, uh, in 1906 uh, in our city square or Tumaraya Hine of an indigenous leader, Te Piti Te Aweawe, and not Lord Palmerston. Uh, and that uh, acceptance and welcoming of newcomers and migrants is still in the city's DNA today. And we are a very multicultural city today with over 130 different ethnic communities calling Palmer home. The city has grown over the decades. The first mayor was uh, George Snelson. Uh, it took a few years to get council organised and uh, George was elected as the first mayor in 1877. But he was everything. He was the scorekeeper, the real estate agent, the publican, and even the school's first chairman and, of course, mayor. Uh, today, I'm the 29th mayor of the city. The school has also played its part in the establishment of the city, too. Palmerston Boys High grew out of College Street School and District High School in 1902 before J.E. Vernon became the first rector in 1904. Palmerston North City and Palmerston Boys High have grown hugely over the decades. Palmerston North now is truly a cosmopolitan city of nearly 100,000 people with many diverse sectors. Where we have a university, a large regional hospital, a regional stadium, excellent transportation links, a vibrant central district, central um, business district, army and air force bases, strong food science sector, a strong and fast growing logistics and distribution sector, plus an extremely strong education sector and many well regarded schools, including Palmerston North Boys High. Today we will plant a native tree to signify the bond between the city and the school and a nod to 150 years. And finally, if I could just touch on where Palmerston City's economy is today. Our strength really has been that diversity. We have many performing sectors, education, research, food science, retail, niche manufacturing, logistics, distribution, transportation, digital and tech, defence, government services and agribusiness amongst others. We don't have one or two key sectors that outweigh the others and sometimes dictate highs and lows as other regional cities have faced. Palmerston North literally ploughs through. And we've done incredibly well in this COVID period as many of our sectors were essential work. Coupled with this, there is a wall of work and major infrastructural projects coming to our city over the next decade over $8 billion worth, 
and transportation, logistics, construction, power utilities, with hospital, defence and education and city centre refurbishments. So boys, what I'm really saying is there's plenty of opportunities in Palmerston North. Plenty of jobs with plenty of training opportunities that lead to good, well-paying opportunities and jobs. So you don't need to leave Palmerston North. That is my message. And Palmerston North will need you in the next decade. So, Mr Bailey, I think I'll leave it at there, there. Thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. I look forward to planting the tree, leaving a legacy to the school, um, and uh, thank you for uh, letting me address you. Thank you.